Edutainment Studios welcomes you to colon cancer. This module is part one of a three-part series. Colon cancer is not typically a comfortable topic of conversation. However, it is the third most common type of cancer in the United States and affects approximately 140,000 people every year. In this course, the objective is to help you explain what the colon is and Describe who is at risk for colon cancer. The final part of the digestive tract in the human body consists of the large intestine, also known as the colon. It provides, for some, an important job in the final stages of the digestive process. Its main function is to remove water from the remaining food matter, store the leftover waste, and expel what is now stool from the body to the rectum out through the anus. Polyps are abnormal growths in the lining of the colon or rectum. Not all polyps become cancerous, but the ones that do usually take years to transform. There are two main types of polyps. The most common is the hyperplastic and inflammatory polyps. These are also known as non-neoplastic and do not usually turn into cancer. The second type is adenoma or neoplastic. If these are discovered during a screening process, they should be taken care of immediately, as they can become cancerous. While there is no specific rhyme or reason as to why polyps appear, studies have shown some common threads to take into consideration. If you are over the age of 50, you are at a higher risk of developing colon cancer. Other risks would include being overweight, being physically inactive, smoking, drinking three or more alcoholic drinks per day, and having a diet that is high in fat and low in fiber. It has also been shown that African Americans are at a higher risk, as well as anyone who has Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, or a family history of cancer. Please feel free to investigate these sites and others for more information, and remember to bring any concerns or questions in to discuss with your doctor. Thank you for joining us today for part one of this three-part series on colon cancer and come back for part two.